will give you authority huh, to kill every witch. God will give you a core authority huh, to shut the mouth of every witch. Huh. I wish I had somebody say, baby, I'm a witch. Kill me. <laughs> we got this thing about Jezebel all mixed up. Because pastors who are not trained will try and teach Jezebel as a woman who is considered to be promiscuous. We'll tell you that's not Bible. Jezebel is a spirit that comes after the authority. And Jezebel don't just operate in women. Y'all don't talk to you. You got some men that got a Jezebel spirit. You got some men who don't want to lie up and they don't talk to you. Baby, that is a curse that you live living with. Oh, she can't tell you what to do. He can't tell. He put on his pants like me. Yeah, but guess what? You ain't been called. Y'all ain't gonna talk to him.
and the children to the third and fourth yes. generation. This is why, my brothers and sisters, you got to be careful how you live now because your disobedience can affect your grandkids. I'm my talking God. about your disobedience can go three and four generations down the line, and people that's not even here now will have to deal with the wrath of God because you wouldn't submit yourself to God. Jesus. You wouldn't line up. Y'all ain't going to talk in here. Yes. You wouldn't line up with God because when God bring you out, you can't keep being a slider. Y'all don't talk in here. When God bring you out, you can't keep trying to pop it, turn it, pop it, lift it up, roll it up. No. But if God has changed you, you ought to know how to be changed by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. I'm all the way out here now. Generational curses said because my mama did that, I ain't going to do it. I'm talk right. yeah. My daddy might have been a drunk baby, but you ought to tell somebody, huh? I'm the one where the break, the curse is broken. Yeah. 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 We heard the man of God say to us last Sunday night, huh? tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, yeah. I done miss my blessings. Huh? Yeah. Too many years now, huh? but I ain't going to miss it this year right here. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Yes.
make you popular. Uh -huh. Preaching standards ain't gonna make you popular. Uh -huh. People will flock to people tell you go out there, turn around three times, or touch the kind of yours. But baby, God don't bless no mess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We want somebody to tell you God is going to bless you financially. Uh, go out to the Lexus dealership. Uh, take your oil, walk around the car. Uh, tame it and hey, listen, baby, you can stop wasting your time. Because God ain't going to allow his name to look bad uh, by blessing somebody who don't understand. Uh, I don't bless the stuff. I bless the creator. Sit yourself down. Ask God to deliver you from that horny demon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Because you're trying to put God in something that he ain't got nothing to do with. Come on, preach up. And then we get mad at the pastor when God don't bless you because you're out of the will of God. Uh huh. Read. Jesus. Because see, I had to tell our church. You be the first one. My wife tell you. My cousin, I had to tell our church. Listen, my own biological sister had to sit her down. Yeah. We got the same mom and dad. But you ain't gonna be up on the praise team, slide with somebody you ain't married to, and then watch this. Then we get so complacent, we come brag about it. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. My God, my God. Oh, oh, I know she don't lie. Okay. I know, I know she don't lie. I know she don't lie. She'll get it. Yep, all right. But I stand behind what I say. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Because if I don't do it to her, then everybody else going to think we can just do what we want to do. That's right. That's right. And whenever you have a house that have no standards, you not have a religious cult. Help me, Jesus. Free. Right. 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 Nobody been delivered. You got a religious cult. Everybody in the church sleeping when they want to die. Don't talk in here. Yes, God, help me, Holy Ghost. We got people in ministry having Christian spiritual orgies in the church. Jesus. 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 I said spiritual orgies. Watch this. Because you're trying to eat from everybody's table. And when you look at this in the natural, whenever you're intimate with somebody unprotected with multiple partners, then you cross contaminate. Let me go. And we got a lot of people in church who are spiritually cross contaminating her because you couldn't get your way over here. I know you raised hell. And the pastor got you together. Then you want to go over here and raise hell. Okay, then when the Bible says, ask for me in my house, we going to serve the Lord. Yes. Glory to God. So you leave the church, take the $2 offering and go ahead and watch your business. Okay. Because God going to bless the house yes. Yes. when you have standards. Amen. Amen. Bishop, pastor, I had to learn. Don't be afraid of no demon. Mm -hmm. I don't care how anointed they think they are. I don't care how talented they think they are. Can I tell y'all something? No matter how much we think we got it going on, boo -boo, God don't need us. Hello. Why can't you know about that? But we need God. I wish I had, I wish I had a witness. Yeah. Yeah. We need God. So in order for the church to operate curse-free, we have to have order back in the house. Yes, sir. Yes. disobedience yes, sir. Yes, sir. is birthed out of disorder. Yes, sir. And whenever you have anybody to operate in disorder, then they have what I call demonic tendencies. Yes, sir. Mama, 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 mama. That's real. Everybody do what they want to do. Uh -huh. Jesus. They come to church at 7, you come sashaying at 745. Come on, come on. Come on. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come in here at 745, because you're the praise leader, sit your butt down right at the altar. Because yeah. guess what, God? The church ain't gonna wait on you. Y'all gonna talk to me. Somebody says tight, but it's right. It's right. right. I'm not saying it because he's my brother, but I said, watch this. God gonna hold people accountable for musicians that's raping ministries. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. that's right. Yeah. We want full time commitment. Yeah. But we want a piss poor, we want a full time compensation. Yes. But we got a piss poor commitment. Come on, yeah. come on. Oh, oh. That ain't gonna talk sure to him. Yep. Sure Pastor gotta look for you. He gotta worry about when you're coming. That's and then, oh, I ain't gonna be here because you couldn't pay me enough. So all you yeah. is, help me, Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. All you is is a spiritual trick. Hello. Oh. Show up. Oh. My, 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 my. Y'all ain't gonna talk to him. Cause yeah. watch this, come on, all y'all ain't been saying all your life. Oh, some of y'all, we, we don't play, some of y'all ain't been some players in here, amen, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Just say, thank God for change. Yeah. 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 We, we know you say, we ain't got to about that, watch this bishop. Some of us used to go where the highest price was. Well, but it's said. So now guess what? Used to? Right. If Sambo <laughs> can play this thing. If Sambo, all he can afford is McDonald's and Lil Ray Ray gonna take me to Red Lobster, I got to go with Red Lobster. Yes, Hello. Hello. But we do the same thing in church. <laughs> Not really. We do the same thing when it comes to ministry. <laughs> if the pastor can't break me off big, then guess what? I got to go somewhere else. Talk. Mama, mama, mama. But what happened to being faithful? Away well, from God? that's right. Amen. Amen. God said, God, I'm just going to stay right here until you bless me, God. Amen. God, God, I'm just going to wait because if I stay faithful to you, you're going to send ravens with my name. Yeah. Well. Jesus, that's what we got. People that are cursed financially because they out of the will of God. Well, and then they want to tell people the church ain't working. No, the church is working. You just out of the will. Amen. Amen. Say it. 
The curse got to go. Getting quiet, Apostle. Getting quiet. God taking me this way. Because sometimes all we want to hear is look at your neighbor huh, and say, neighbor, huh, it's going to work out. That's good. But you walk out the house, out the church, and still messed up. Sometimes you need a word that's going to cause you to examine how you live. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. That's right. We shout. And watch that. I'm done. I'm done. The, 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 what I know about the Holy Spirit when I was younger, the Holy, the Holy Spirit is not manufactured. What do I mean by that? It amazed me, Bishop, that when I remember the old missionaries, when the Spirit of God would hit them, they would just go dancing right where they are. Right? Anybody remember that? Listen, they can be up front, they can be in a back row, they'll get them and dress, and they're going to dance wherever they are. But now we got people that before you shop, you got to come grab somebody and say, come shop with me. But baby, if you ain't connected with God, what am I agreeing with? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Come shop me, shop for you for what? Because you ain't doing nothing to let me know that you're the will of God. Help the Holy Ghost. I'm speaking to this house tonight that God is going to allow this ministry to break many strongholds. Amen. Just stay faithful. Don't worry about if your name is on every flyer. Don't worry about if you're not on every platform because some places you don't need to be at anyway. Amen. So Talk right. to me. Right. I'm not upset, Bishop, I don't get invited to every church to preach. Amen. Because mama said like this, if you lay down with dogs long enough, you get up and flee. And we got a lot of fleas running loose in the body of Christ. Everybody just want to jump for platforms. Amen. Well, the late Reverend Alonzo Anderson, where I met my wife at 93rd Street Baptist Church, used to say this. It's not how high you jump. It's how straight you walk when you come down. Come on. A lot of folk jump, but you live right. That's right. What, what would happen? What would happen? If Pastor Dawson decided to do a pop-up visit at your house, oh. what would happen if Bishop come to your house unannounced? Mm. Would they see the same person be shouting on Sunday? Amen. Or would they see you, you got your little, uh, what's the word, gray goose on the table? Mm. Mm. Uh, here it is, here it is, Bishop. We like to try and make God fit into our stuff. Oh, the Bible says you can drink but don't get drunk. He had no, he wouldn't talk about his. <laughs> he wasn't talking about some rock. Y'all ain't gonna talk about So don't try to make God fit into something that you know your flesh is. Y'all ain't gonna talk about you. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, is that? Oh, pass the acting all that. He, she know God's still working on me. Yeah, but when you make that statement, that means you're in control about what you're getting ready to do. That's right. Amen. 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 That's told you. Our mouth, Amen. our tongue has authority. That's right. Amen. So we might think we're getting by the leaders. But baby, God said everything that you're doing. Well, right. Amen. Amen. Let me say this. Some of us have shout and thank God the test came back negative. Mm. Uh, okay, I'm talking to the wrong people. Amen. Uh, 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 so some of us have shout and thank God that you got caught in some situations that have had not been for God. You want to say, God, I thank you that you come on. See, everybody ain't going to get that. Because everybody ain't going to say it all they like. Amen. Amen. Bishop, watch this. My wife can tell you. My cousin right there. I've been pre I've been pastor eight years. I grew up in an area no block called the Triangle. And watch this. Who said yeah? You know about the Triangle? No, I was my sister. You know about the Triangle? So this is watch this. So what that is right there? That is right there. That is right there. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Because I had a gift of playing drums, I played church for a long time. Come to church, play drums. Five years old, playing drums. Going around, playing drums. Start playing with different groups all throughout the year, me and my wife. I used to travel all the time, different groups, playing drums. Think I was doing it. But the whole time, I wasn't in the will of God. Watch this, bitch. Everybody want to admit to this. I was a licensed minister, still running around flesh out of control. And the church that I was serving upon, serving in, the pastor was more concerned about my gift than sit me down and said, baby, you got to get yourself together. Amen. Talk to me. I don't want to talk to you here. Breathe. Yes. Gifts come without repentance. That's right. God ain't impressed because you gifted. That's right. But he want to know, listen, don't allow your gift to be able to open doors that your character can't keep on. That's right. Oh, I done played this person. Oh, I done played that person. That don't mean nothing to God. Who 
who have you convinced to get to know God because they saw your lifestyle? Talk to them. All right. All right. Now. Who, who like say I've been better since I since I met Lady Robinson? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but she let me know that God can still bring me up. Yeah. Hello, somebody. So I still, I still like this bishop. Talk. So dope. Used to go to church, play drums. After church was over, I'm selling dope out in the corner of the church. Ran for a lot of years. I drove almost high, all of my lifestyle, all my life illegal without license. All in Georgia, all in Jacksonville, all in Mississippi. That's a Florida thing. Listen, <laughs> still, boy, here, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Somebody gonna get this revelation. But because we work together with DJJ, right? Even I worked with DJJ, I didn't have license. But nobody knew it, you know why? Cause I knew how to fake it. We got church people still faking it, right? Talk to me. Yes, they do. We got people faking it. We know how to lift our hands. We know how to. Uh, we jerking up. Listen, that ain't you still faking. Oh. And it wasn't until God had to show me, you keep playing with me. Amen. If I remove my hand from you, my God. the very life you have will be over. My God. Sir. I take the very breath out your body. Keep, keep playing with me. Watch this. Some of us before we got saved, there was a dice game used to call CeeLo. Anybody know about CeeLo? Yeah. yeah. Yo, and what's the when you get head cracked, that means you don't lost, right? God get rid of the head cracks some believers. Cause we've been rolling the dice too long. We've been praying too long. God said, now playtime is over. Look at what's going on in our community. Yes. Yes. Look at what's going on in our nation. Yes. Look at how they just had a, a, I think a, a nine month old baby get killed by a pit bull. Yes. yes. That baby only been here nine months. Yes. Then they had another baby they found face down in the pool. Yes. Yes. And here we are, we keep sliding like it can't happen to us. My God. Jesus. They were only but by the grace of God. Oh, my God. My God. Oh, my God. Bishop, some of us in here. Yes. Man, if God done been in some situations, we should have been dead already. Yeah. Woo! I can't hear you know why. Yeah. Jesus. We be just up the club. They shot the club. My God. Just got in the car. That person got in the car. We had a crash. Jesus. And here we always say, something told me that was God talking. Amen. Amen. But we don't listen to God. Because our friends said, come on, girl, let's go ride. Child, come on, man. Let's go down. We got we got some ladies. Let's go down and holler at the honeys. That's why we are now operating in the curse church. And nobody want to be delivered. Amen. Everybody want this, this prosperity gospel. Uh -huh. But if I'm living right, resources will come. That's right. That's right. That's right. We've been married 28 years. Watch this. This ain't bright. But my wife, when was that when you saw when you see me? My wife ain't worked in eight years. But look at me, we still good. Amen. 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 Here's, here's one of the curses that keep us messed up. Men want to be lazy. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You want to grab your pants and talk about you the man. <laughs> but if your wife get up going to work, you lay at home, eat up all the groceries. Mm -hmm. Lazy, ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. But you call yourself a man. Right now. My church can tell you, Bishop, I'm a hustler by nature. Yes, sir. I was a hustle in the world. I just done changed my hustle. Mm -hmm. All right. Sometimes I work 16 hours a day, three days, three days a week. Yes. I still do funerals. I play drum. Whatever it is, because watch this. The Bible says, man, don't work. You know what? Eat. 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 So, Sister Yolanda, Elder Greg, Sister uh, Lenora, Sister Jack, all of you saying, possible. God will make you full time. I believe it. But watch this. When he do it, he going to do it while I'm working. Y'all ain't gonna talk it here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, right yeah. He gonna do it because now when he say, okay, you been faithful, now when I bless you, ain't no nigga got nothing to say. Hey. Yeah. 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 So I'll tell you tonight, Amen. I wanna be free tonight, God. Amen. 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 We, we done. Amen. <laughs> I'm not finna call oh, yeah. a prayer line, so to speak. But I want everybody to close your eyes for a second. Close your eyes for a second. <laughs> and this is just this is a transparent moment with you and God. If you can honestly say that God there's been some things in my life that I have not totally surrendered to you, I've been coming to church, going through all the religious rituals, been going through all the church routine, but there's still some areas in my life, God, that I've not totally surrendered to you. But tonight that I want to be that remnant that know how to live in the blessings of God and not be held accountable for the curses of God. Because I don't know how to get control of my disobedient nature. 
If you here today, tonight, and you can make that declaration, and you're a member of True Destiny, I challenge you to come up the right one man right now. Now here's the thing, every eye's closed. Because one thing we start, we start looking to see who's going to walk. If you're looking to see who's walking, you need to get your butt up and walk. My Lord, my Lord. Y'all ain't going to talk in here. All right. Y'all ain't going to talk in here. You don't got to worry about who's coming up. Amen. But God is speaking to somebody here tonight. Because the truth of the matter is, the enemy done had a hit on your life for a long time. Tonight, generational curse is about to be interrupted tonight. Yes, everything your mama did, everything your grandma did, everything your great grandma did, God said it's gonna stop tonight. Jesus. You won't take that hurt from past generations into the season and get ready to bless you with. Because we can't go into Canaan with hurt from Egypt. We, we can't God. enjoy our Canaan season and we still worry about the heart that we got when we was over in Egypt. My Some God. stuff you gotta let go. She does. Some stuff you gotta let go. Yes, I didn't learn Bishop Robinson that after we got married, my wife told me how family members raped and molested her. She was mad. I, I wasn't even on the scene at that time. But her telling me that something in me wanted me to go do something to her. There are people in here that people have taken advantage of. Have taken advantage of your, your good heart. And you say, God, I'm, sometimes I just want to give up. Mm. God, sometimes I don't even want to wake up because every time I try and open my heart up to people, people keep walking through my heart and, and damaging me. Now I'm, I'm afraid to trust. I'm afraid to love. I'm afraid to be able to even trust God because I've been so hurt. I've been so damaged. But can I tell you something? God is getting to restore your damaged goods. God is getting to show you. Just like he did with Hannah. He showed tonight that God can still use you. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. So you here tonight, God said, listen, bring it to me, bring it to me, bring it to me. You've been trying to hide it, you've been trying to masquerade, you, you've been trying to keep it, but God said, no, I need you to bring it to me, I'm getting ready to deliver you, I'm getting ready to release you, you're getting ready to walk into your turnaround season. Yes, yes, yes. I'm afraid of what the church gonna say. Listen, the church ain't got a heaven to hell to put you in. That's why they allowed the coffers to be in the hotel. You ain't got to worry about trying to impress church people. That's right. Bible said, Daddy, you hear my voice? Hard not your heart. This woman of God right here, I forgot her name, but I know we used to work together. She can tell you I was a hot mess at juvenile. See, when you know you can talk about your own past, you don't worry about nobody else breaking it. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I got the t-shirt, I got the bumper sticker. So it don't fool me when you tell me what you know I used to do. Been that's done it. But somebody say, I thank God. And I be all that I should be. But I praise God, I'm not what I used to be. Anybody else need to do Anybody else need to Hallelujah. I give myself away. Give myself away. Oh, I give. I give myself away. So, so you can use me, God. Can you? We said one time, I give. I give myself away. You know what I mean? God said, Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me. I give myself. Give myself away. Listen, listen, listen. listen. So and I'm only flowing in prophetic when God tells me to. See, some people like to try and stay. And I can wait to hear from God. Come on, woman of God. I don't know you. I've never seen you before. But I want the woman of God just to come. I want you just to come and break some Pastor Joyce. I want you to come. Because watch this. The enemy has tried to make you think you ain't worth it. The enemy has been trying to fight against you because other people try to make you feel like you don't have what it takes and you always like you left out and overlooked. God said tonight, God said tonight, God said tonight I'm taking everything. It's okay. I'm taking everything that you said and I'm going to use this as an opportunity. I'm going to elevate you to another place in me. And the same people that laugh at you. They now don't have to celebrate what I'm getting ready to do in your life. And so I want the woman God to embrace you. And when she embraces you, this is how God wants you to know I got you just like this. She does. I got you just like this. You ain't got to worry about it. You ain't got to fight. I got you just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. God said, I'm taking it off you tonight. I'm putting it back on me. That's what the Bible says. Cast all your cares upon me because I care for you. God said, get it off you. Because I can handle what you can't handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
showed you concerning this ministry. Oh but God said, if I give it to you, I'm going to already prepare her to receive it because it's coming from me. But I'm telling you, there's favor on your life. Can I just say Amen. Amen. There's favor in your life. There's favor in your life. The Lord said, like he told Moses, the enemy you see today, you won't see no more. Every enemy that's trying to plot against you, Every enemy that done tried to dig yeah, this for you, every enemy that done spoke against you in a, inappropriately and said what you couldn't do, God said, now, I'm sending out an email in heaven and get ready to come to the table, and you're going to sit right at the table, and God is going to elevate you even the more. Amen, amen. You overdue for a vacation, only God. God said, I need you to take about two or three days and still away. Spend some quiet time with God. I don't know what type of work you do. But I'm speaking out at your supervisor. I'm going to honor what I'm saying tonight. There's a need for you to spend some quiet time with God. But when you come out of this, this little sabbatical with God, get ready because the oil in your life is not going to hold up. Amen. But just like there's an increase in the oil, there's going to also be an elevation of warfare. But God is going to give you the ability to let every devil know I ain't going nowhere. That's right. Amen. I ain't going nowhere. Amen. Favor woman of God. My church tell you, I got a, I got a ministry most people need to be a part of. It's called delete ministry. Mm. <laughs> so time Everybody is not ordained by God. Delete. Right. Amen. Delete. Because you can't miss nothing you ain't never had. Amen. All I can say to you, woman God, is you're a radical phraser. And the enemy don't know how to take you. Mm. Every right. time he thinks he got you boxed in the corner, you, you, you come out with something different. It's radical. But there, there's some there's some things concerning business you've been having up before God. Some things you've been wanting to do. You say, God, it just don't think it's lining up. Can I tell you something tonight? Come, you line up, fan her. Fan her, because I need to talk to you right quick. Thank you, Jesus. You're a part of this ministry? Yeah. Do me a favor. Connect with the woman of God. Just grab her hand. There's a transfer that's going to take place in your life now. My God, my God, my God. You haven't told me this, but the enemy been after you for a long time. And he's been throwing almost like everything but the kitchen sink at you. And some stuff you've been going through, you haven't even shared with your pastor. You've been saying, God, I'm just going to deal with it. I'm going to deal with it. I ain't soft. I ain't scared. But I'm going to deal with it. But God said, in this season right here, I want you to have confidence enough in God that he'll allow this woman about to be the vehicle that you're going to be able to open up to. When you open up to a transfer, it will take place. Somebody has already told you you've been called to preach the gospel. Mm. Amen. Very much so. Amen. Yes. Mm. But you know why you haven't said okay yet? I, I will, God, because you've been battling. I, I don't fit the I don't fit the mold of what a preacher. Let me tell you something. I don't do tradition. Y'all ain't talking again. I don't do religion. My God. So there is no perfect mold of a preacher. But God say, though they that will say I will obey. 
God will use you for his glory. And let me tell you something. I want to God touch it right in my stomach. There's a word that's been in your belly for so long. And the reason why your warfare has been so great because there's a baby that's trying to be released. Come on. But God said you've been having the wrong people nurture us in your womb. Mm -hmm. But tonight right. I'm counseling the spiritual miscarriage on your life. Oh that you will release. Oh you will give birth. And I'm telling you, God is going to use you to help this man or woman of God. Because you're going to bring so many folks in this house. Because you're just a radical praise. I ain't got no big words. It is what it is. And God said, don't change who you are. Those that try to make you change mean they're not assigned to your life. <laughs> My wife can tell you, I done got kicked out of three. But not kicked out. But told I can't come back. To three Baptist churches. I don't hold my tongue when it comes to preaching the gospel. Because we've been playing gospel, playing words so long, people in church died right now. Yes, yes. The Bible yes. said the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And I want you to know by this time next week, this is sad, this is Friday, right? By this time next week, there's going to be such an earning, burning in your belly. I need you to get your notepad or your iPad, whatever it is. God is going to speak to you over the next seven days. Amen. Everything he speaks to you, I want you to write it down. Amen. But when you write it down, the only person you share with is your leader. Amen. Not mama, not your BFF, not your homegirl. Right. Because everybody ain't going to be able to appreciate what God is saying to you. That's right. That's right. That's right. There are some people that really, they connected to you, but they really don't want to see you get to that next place. Mm. But God said, this woman of God is going to nurture you because you're now one of her spiritual daughters. Yes. Adabosa. Yes. And because you're a spiritual daughter, God is going to use the man and God and the woman of God to nurture you. I don't know if your biological parents are still here or not, but God said, I'm going to use these two right here to be an extension of your parents. But they're going to cultivate what's in your belly. So I need y'all to do me a favor right here. Two destiny. Y'all point your hands toward the woman of God. Say push. Push. Come on, somebody say push. Push. Come on, when you say push, that means you're helping the baby get in line. Push. Somebody push. 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 show you how right you move. I'll sit out for a second. I need you just to take a, a leap of faith. Run to that chair down there and come back three times. Three times, There's a dialogue getting ready to take place between your wife and the car. Glory to God. That God has given you a renewed vision for the assignment he got on your life. Glory and all I keep hearing God saying, Chris, honey, it was me all the time. Amen. Y'all ain't gonna talk, it was me the whole time. You sometimes you can even figure it out, but I say it was me the whole time. Anybody remember that post about footprints? Y'all see where they say it was two or so one set of footprints in the same? God said it was me the whole time that was carrying you. And because I was carrying that's why you never dropped out of my hand. I mean, all it goes. There's some folk that wanted you to drop, but God said, no, not only am I holding you, but I'm carrying you. Y'all ain't going to talk it here. Ezekiel said in the 37th chapter, it said the hand of the Lord came upon me and carried me out and sat me down in the valley of the dry bone. God said, I've been carrying you. I've been allowed you to sit, but now I'm giving you to call you to get up. Like that. Oh, that's Wow. He just 
to say he did a study on Ezekiel 37 this morning. God said, you getting ready to speak to some dry stuff. Prophecy. Prophecy. I'll speak through you. Come on, come on here. Prophecy. Come on, speak. And I'm going to speak for you. Watch this. Here's, a, here's the last part. I got to get this mic back to the one of God. When Ezekiel spoke, the Bible declares there was a rumbling in the valley. Y'all missed that right there. Come on. When you do not know that there's power in your mouth, that you can open your mouth, and there's a rumbling in there that take place in here. Can we just test it right quick? Anybody open your mouth and hold your head back and give God the loudest scream that you can give Listen, God allowed me and my wife to meet this couple at which was probably one of the most darkest times in our life. When he had the, the beauty store in Miami, I think my daughters met them first. I didn't know them, but my money knew them because my daughter stayed in the store. <laughs> but, but, but God allowed them us to meet them after our son had got married. And let me tell you something, even at the beauty store, they had such a sweet spirit, such a glow about God. And I would come in there sometimes, hey bro, how you doing? Hey sis, how you doing? Because sometimes people get all moved by collars and all these suits. Listen, if that's the only way you can prove that you're anointed, sit down somewhere. Okay. But what happened when you in the street, you ain't got no collar on. But I want to tell you something, that because you are have labored well, you only see nothing yet. Don't stop teaching. Don't stop dreaming because God has given you some big dreams. And some of you say, I don't know, big cousin. How are we going to do that? God said, if I, if I didn't make it big, then you won't be able to give me the credit for it. It don't take God a whole long time to do anything. He said, because your heart is pure. Because now y'all walking in agreement with each other. I'm giving you to put a fast track on the favor for this house. It ain't going to take long. And there's going to be some people, God said, I got to do it. And there have been some people that have been doubting it would ever take place. But God said, you ain't got to say nothing. Y'all just keep touching in the grief. Yes. Keep standing in God's face. And he said, watch this. When you look at uh, Deuteronomy, because of the favor of God, other people are going to celebrate your faith. You ain't got to say one word. Just stay faithful. Stay humble. I'm declaring now in front of our members that's here. New Tabernacle will stay in constant partnership with you. Amen. Y'all ain't talking to here. Amen. 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 We will stay in constant. If you ever need us, just holler at us. Amen. Because love ain't what you say, it's what you do. Oh, All right. right. And yes. I speak yes. to you. Yes. God is going to do supernatural through you yesterday. Expect some great doors to open you. Like, how this door got open? God. Amen. When he come to you and say, how this happened? God. Amen. When she come to you and say, how this happened? God. Amen. When he say, you know I'm doing it, I'm going to continue. If you be faithful over for you, baby. And remember this, remember the true destiny, stand real quick. If you remember this house, stand. If you remember the true destiny, stand real quick. Stand. I want y'all to bear witness that God is going to take y'all leaders to no whole other realm. God don't bless based on tenures. He blessed on, he blessed based on sincerity. There's some people in the ministry 40 years and ain't got beyond where they're at right now. But when you're faithful unto God, God said, don't take 40 years. I'm going to show you that because my hand is on you. Right. I'm breathing into y'all supernatural miracles. Right. Get ready to take on your job. So people get ready to be delivered on your job. Your job is to pull pit outside of here. That tax place. Everybody come in and God said, I'm going to allow you to impart into them. Because watch this. You get ready to impart into some millions. I wish I had a church. You get ready to impart into some millions that you don't even know coming your way. But because you're not after the money and you're being faithful with ministry, he gonna send the resources. Yeah. Since it's a starting place. Be not what it says. Despise not small beginnings. This is just a starting place. We started out in, in rolling those parts. And I'm talking about, but let me tell you, it was rough. Every Sunday got to set up equipment, take it down. Set up equipment, take it down. Miami guards didn't want us to beat them, but when we look now, eight years later, nobody but God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, 
God, we speak to this, your man, woman of God, now, God. We ask and pray now that you will continue to impregnate them, God, with your power. God, that you will continue to impregnate them, God, with your oil. God, that will allow them to overcome every obstacle. God, the enemy will try to release upon your life against this ministry. God, we bind it now in the name of Jesus. God, this ministry, God, will not be hindered by the curses of the enemy, God. But this ministry will be a house of freedom, God. That people can be healed, delivered, and set free, God. According to your word, God, in the name of Jesus, God, continue to use this man and God on his job. Use this woman and God on her job, God. And God, I even hear you say, God, it won't be long, God. That you are removing from the man's job. That you can make allow them to travel, God. You can make it allow their feet to walk upon continents, God. That other people have not been allowed to walk on, God. Do it right now, God. Bless their home, God. Bless their family, God. Bless their finances, God. And I pray for Isaiah and his son tonight, God, that you continue to bless him by the name of you. And God, we serve the enemy, no. And he should stop you, God, before the fifth never came to pass. But now we give you glory. We give you honor and great things. And we live to release in this house. In Jesus Christ, name we pray. Somebody clap your hands and give God glory. You, you don't let people think you're vulnerable. God says, over now. Amen. You've been fighting too long. God said, now I need you to just sit down and let me fight for you. Come on. Come on. There's been some folks that God gave me to draw back to your life. <laughs> and they walked out thinking you was going to just lose it. But God said, they don't even realize the reason why their life has been put on hold because of how they did you. Amen. And so God said, they're not going to experience my blessings and favor until they come back and repent how they did you. Amen. You will not lose your mind. Amen. You will not lose no sleep. Amen. You ain't going to sit around here and, we and be weary because God said, I got great for you. I got greater for you. Amen. And sometimes in order for you to get greater, you got to be willing to trust God even when it looks weak and better. Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Bishop, can you just touch your hands right quick? Amen. I don't know what kind of business you have. <laughs> That there's an entrepreneurship anointed on your life. My God, my God, my God. God, why are you doing this to me? Amen. 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 And you know what? You don't you don't wrote the vision down a couple of times on paper. And you keep tanning up and say, nah, God, this ain't gonna work. God, no. God said, no, go get you another legal pad. And when I begin to speak to you concerning the business, I need you to write it down. And the Bible said you write the vision and make it plain. <laughs> Though it tarry, it will come to pass. Yeah. My, 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 my. The business he's given you is what's going to take you off your job. Amen. Ah.